mosaic embryo is an embryo that has a mixture of normal and abnormal cells. We can't tell just by looking at an embryo. The only way we can tell that an embryo is mosaic is by utilizing what's called PGS, pre-implantation genetic screening of the embryos. With PGS, the embryologists in the lab will remove a small number of cells from each embryo, send those cells to a genetic lab that will do DNA testing and look at the number of chromosomes that are in those cells. Because the PGS technology has made a lot of advances in the past uh, couple of years, we are able to tell if that embryo has all normal cells, all abnormal cells, or in about 20% of the cases, a mixture of normal and abnormal cells. With the new advances in the PGS technology, utilizing something called NGS, Next Generation Sequencing, uh, we start getting more information about the embryos. So this issue about mosaic embryos is relatively new in the field, and we are still collecting information and trying to understand what this means and what to do about these embryos. About 20% of the embryos tested show this mix, mixture of normal and abnormal cells called mosaics. For the most part, we don't consider these embryos 100% normal, so we will always prioritize transferring a normal embryo first if hopefully the patient has normal embryos available for transfer. There are some situations where the patient after undergoing IVF with PGS, we receive the results from the lab and there are no chromosomally normal embryos available for transfer. But in the list of embryos, there are some that are mosaics. In that case, we discuss with the patient there are options. One of the options is to do another IVF cycle and uh, to try to produce new embryos looking for normal embryos. Some patients are not able to do um, or not willing to do another IVF cycle and may want to consider transferring those mosaic embryos. If a couple is considering transferring a mosaic embryo because that's the only embryos they have available, we would sit down and discuss uh, the pros and cons and some of the potential risks that are involved with that decision. The problem that this is something very new and there is ver very little data, very little information about the outcomes of these uh, mosaic embryos. There are some uh, studies just recently being reported with normal healthy babies born from the transfer of mosaic embryos. However, we also know that there is a higher risk of miscarriage uh, and there is a higher risk of not getting pregnant with these mosaic embryos and a lot of other unknown uh, possible outcomes. So if a couple decides that they want to uh, use one of these mosaic embryos, uh, we would strongly recommend that if they conceive successfully that then they are going to go on amniocentesis to make sure that the baby is healthy and normal um, uh, if a pregnancy has been established. Another um, piece of information that uh, we're hoping to, to have about these mosaic embryos um, is the percentage of abnormal cells that are present in the embryo. Up until now, the um, reference laboratories that do the PGS testing have been only reporting mosaic embryos without telling us more detail about what percentage of normal and abnormal cells they have found in the embryo. The reporting is going to change and from now on the labs are going to be able to provide us with a little more information in terms of what percentage of abnormal cells they have detected, if it's high or if it's low. If the percentage of abnormal cells in that embryo is low, it will be a little more encouraging to try to use that embryo um, than if that embryo has a very high percentage of abnormal cells, making it more likely to be abnormal than normal.